welcome viewers in this video we'll see the source transformation that is current source into voltage source and voltage source into current source the voltage and current source may be interchanged without affecting the remainder of the circuit this technique is called a source transformation we can convert the voltage source into current source current source into voltage source without affecting the remaining of the circuit this simplification is needed for the circuit sum calculation so that we are doing the voltage source to current source conversion and current source to voltage source conversion this is called a source transformation any practical voltage source consists of an internal voltage source in series with the internal resistance so practical voltage source is nothing but voltage source having some internal resistance that is connected in series with the voltage source so the voltage source in series with the internal resistor is a practical voltage source similarly any current source also having the resistor that is connected in parallel with the current source any practical current source consists of an ideal current source in parallel with its internal resistance so internal resistor available in both voltage source and current source in case of voltage source internal resistor is connected in series with the voltage source in case of current source the internal resistance is connected in parallel with the current source voltage source in series with the internal resistance current source in parallel with the internal resistance or called a practical sources so based on this therefore any practical voltage source that is ideal source v and internal resistance r the voltage source can be replaced by equivalent practical current source what is practical current source ideal source with internal resistance in parallel so voltage source in series with the internal resistance can be converted into current source in parallel with the internal source and vice versa is possible right so we need to remember that the internal resistor connected in series with the voltage source in parallel with the current source based on that we can go for the transformation first we will see the voltage source to current source so the voltage source in series with the internal resistor is connected this is called a practical voltage source how will you convert into current source current source mean the internal resistor is connected in parallel so voltage source in series with the resistor can be converted transfer into current source in parallel with the resistor so this r is equal for both the cases for voltage source as well as current source then how will you find the current i i equal to v by r v and r is available from that we can calculate the current current i equal to v divided by r we'll see one example so here one voltage source is available in series with the internal resistance 3 ohm is there so this voltage source can be converted into current source in parallel with this 3 ohm internal resistor so the 3 ohm resistor is now connected parallel voltage source is converted into current source what is this current value i equal to v by r v is nothing but 90 voltage r is 3 ohm so 90 by 3 30 ampere so we calculated the current source value is 30 ampere right so this is the conversion of voltage source to current source then we'll go to the current source to voltage source so current source in parallel with the internal resistance can be converted into voltage source in series with the internal resistance right then how will you find v v equal to i into r i and r values are available so v can be calculated as i into r we'll see one example so here 5 ampere current source is available internal resistance 3 ohm is connected in parallel so that can be converted into voltage source in series with the internal resistor 3 ohm then how will you find this voltage v equal to i into r 
so i is 5 ampere r is 3 amp 3 ohm so 5 into 3 15 voltage right so current source in parallel with the internal resistor now converted into voltage source in parallel with in series with the internal resistance now we'll see some more problems now we'll see the problem one so in this problem there are three voltage sources available 100 voltage 50 voltage and 60 voltage for each each voltage source the internal resistor also available this is 1 ohm 0.5 ohm and 0.8 ohm so this can be converted into single voltage source and single resistor how will you find the single voltage and resistor so the total voltage is nothing but sum of these three we can add we can we can find the total voltage from these three sources 100 50 and 60 we need to see the polarity what is the polarity see here negative positive here negative positive so these are all connected in series but we are going to here positive and negative right polarity now changed series mean we need to go like this plus minus plus minus plus minus plus mean it is connected in series you can add this minus plus minus plus with these two are added together 100 plus 50 but while, while going this the third source is plus minus this polarity is changed so it is minus 60 right these two are connected in series and but this is this one is opposing right so 100 plus 50 minus 60 if it is minus plus minus plus minus plus mean it is we can add it as it is if any polarity changed minus plus and plus minus mean we need to subtract so 100 plus 50 150 plus from that you have to subtract minus 60 mean 90 voltage the resultant voltage will be 90 what about the resistor resistor we can add as it is because all resistors are connected in series so we can add all the resistor that is 1 ohm 0.5 ohm and 8 ohm this 2.3 ohm so the total resistance will be 2.3 ohm so this is a problem having three voltage source with three internal resistor that will be converted into single voltage source and single resistor right the resistors added as it is because it is connected in series but while finding the total voltage we need to see the polarity right we need to show the polarity so these two are same polarity but here the polarity changed so this is subtracted these two are added together now we'll go to the second problem so in this three current sources are available in the second problem three current sources 6 ampere 1 ampere and 2 ampere in current source mean the internal resistor will be connected in series this 1 ampere for this 1 ampere for this 2 ampere is available now we need to convert this current source into single current source and single resistor how will you find the total current total current is nothing but see the direction so this is upward this is also upward this will be downward so this is rising current may be taken as the positive current these two are this is negative current so 6 plus 1 minus 2 we can easily identify which one is positive and which one is negative current from the direction these two are going upward direction so taken as positive 6 plus 1 this one is going down so minus 2 6 plus 1 7 7 minus 2 5 ampere the total current will be 5 ampere right in previous problem while adding voltage we see the polarity in this problem while adding the current source we need to see the direction based on the direction we can find then what is the total resistance these two resistors are connected in parallel so by using the parallel combination we can find the resistance we take this is the 1 ohm is r1 2 ohm is r2 so the total combination well connected in parallel is nothing but r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so 1 into 2 divided by 1 plus 2 2 divided by 3 0.67 ohm right the resultant resistance will be 0.67 ohm right so three current sources now converted into single current source with a single resistance of 0.67 ohm now we'll go to the next problem so in the third problem 
two current sources and one voltage source is available. In the problem one, we have three voltage sources that will be converted into single voltage source. In second problem, we consider three current source that will be converted into single current source. In the third problem, we have two current source and voltage source. Both are available. Both current source and voltage sources are considered here. Right. Now we will convert this entire circuit into single voltage source and single resistor. We can convert to single current source also. Right. But in this problem, is converted into single voltage source with single resistor that is these two voltage sources are converted in these two current sources are converted into voltage source and final one voltage source is reduced but in another way we can convert this into current source we will convert everything into a single current source also right now in order to get the single voltage source now we are going to convert these two current source into single current source see this direction both are upward direction so the total current will be sum of these two 5 ampere plus 7 ampere that is 12 ampere how will you find the resistance these two resistors are connected in parallel what is the formula r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 this r1 is 3 ohm r2 is 6 ohm so 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6. So 18 divided by 9 is 2 ampere. Right. So these two current sources with two internal resistors now converted into single current source with 12 ampere with the equivalent resistance of 2 amp 2 ohm. Right. Now we can reduce this diagram. See this. Now it is converted into single voltage single current source 12 ampere with 12 ampere and single resistor 2 ohm right now what we have this one current source available and one voltage source also available now our final aim is to find a single voltage source so now we will convert this current source into voltage source how will we convert this current source into voltage source so the current source in parallel with the resistor can be converted into voltage source in series with the resistor right like this so it can be converted into voltage source in series with the resistor 2 ohm so 2 ohm then how will you find this voltage v v is nothing but i into r i and r is available current is 12 ohm 12 ampere and r is 2 ohm so 12 into 2 24 so we can get the 24 voltage here right so 12 ampere with 2 ohm internal resistor now converted into 24 volt in series with the internal resistor of 2 ohm this 24 is calculated here now we have two voltage sources and two resistors that can be easily converted into single voltage source now see the polarity what is the polarity of this circuit this is plus minus plus plus minus now change it if it is series mean minus plus minus plus minus plus it will go like that if it is minus plus plus minus mean both are opposing so 24 this 24 minus 10 14 voltage the resultant will be 14 voltage what is the resistor these two resistors are connected in series so 2 plus 2 4 ohm the res resultant volt uh, resistor will be 4 ohm right so these two resistor opposing these two voltage sources connected in reverse direction so that 24 minus 10 14 voltage these two connected in series so 2 plus 2 4 ohm so this is the final value simplified diagram two current source and one voltage source now converted into single voltage source and single resistor right so in this in this video we discuss about the source transformation voltage source to current source current source to voltage source the formula and we discuss the three problem thank you